In this video, we will describe the three indicators used in performance analytics, as well as how to create them. In performance analytics, indicators are metrics or measurements that measure specific parameters of your operations, such as services, activities, and behavioral performance. These indicators show where these parameters stand at any given moment, and over time, they show trends to help you see where you're doing well and where you can improve. To create an indicator, you need one of three roles, PA Power User, PA Admin, or Admin. You'll also need a paid-for performance analytics entitlement. What types of indicators can you use? Performance Analytics provides automated, manual, and formula indicators. Automated indicators give you scores directly from the ServiceNow database tables. For example, number of new incidents pulls data from the incident table. When we look at its properties, we see that data is being pulled every day in the frequency column, and the system is pulling source data from the incidents.new indicator source to populate this indicator. The method of aggregation is count, meaning the score is a simple count of the new incident records rather than a calculation. Manual indicators let you enter scores manually. You might do this when the source data is restricted access or resides outside your ServiceNow instance. When we create a manual indicator, we can make it appear in scorecards by selecting the Publish on Analytics Hub checkbox. And we can control access to the indicator by making it visible to all roles or only certain ones. Finally, we can specify the people who are allowed to enter scores for the indicator. These people will need the PA contributor role. The last type of indicator, formula, lets us calculate the score and performance data from the scores of automated and manual indicators. For example, the formula for the incident backlog growth indicator is the number of new incidents minus the number of resolved incidents. Here's our scenario. Our HR department wants to know what percentage of their new cases are opened by people visiting their office in person each day. We'll start with creating a manual indicator for the number of new cases that were opened in person. In our example, an HR manager will enter that number manually every day, and the indicator will keep a running count. This unit is a simple count. The user who creates manual indicators must have the PA admin or PA power user roles. Because HR data is sensitive, we don't want this indicator to appear in analytics hubs so we clear the Publish on Analytics Hub's checkbox. To specify role visibility, select Visible to Everyone. This enables you to select a role. You can specify individual user and group visibility, but we want to specify that only users with the admin role can see the values for this indicator. Finally, we specify our HR manager, Linda, as the contributor. We need to give her the PA contributor role so that she can enter scores for the indicator. Back in the manual indicator, the scores for this indicator link takes us to the score sheet, where we can enter scores for the past week, starting on November 21st, including today. These values are saved as soon as we enter them. Next, we'll create an automated indicator. Automated indicators are the most frequently used type of indicator. They're used to calculate scores on a set of records from a table that stores information about a business process. The HR department uses the ServiceNow HR solution, which tracks all HR cases. That means we can create an automated indicator for the total number of new cases because we have a data source to pull from. We can specify the source here on the Source tab. Often we can find the indicator's source by searching, but this time it doesn't exist, so we'll add a new one and call it HR Cases New. We're tracking our new cases daily, so we select Daily for Valid for Frequency. Then we select the Facts table. The Facts table is the table whose records you want to evaluate in your indicator. In our example, it's the HR Case table. Then we'll apply a condition for the HR Case. An indicator source must have at least one condition to filter the records on the facts table. We've created an automated indicator for the total number of new cases since November 21st, 
and a manual indicator for the total number of new cases that were opened in person since the 21st. Now we can use those two indicators to calculate the percentage of new cases that were opened in person. To do that, we'll create a new formula indicator and call it percent of HR cases opened in person. We're calculating a percentage, so we'll select percent for the unit. We'll build our formula in the formula field. The percentage is the number of HR cases opened in person divided by the number of new HR cases. And submit. That's it. We created an automated indicator, a manual indicator, and a formula indicator based on the first two. Now HR knows the percentage of new cases opened in person each day. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.